Hello, third grade. Hopefully all you are doing quite well. Um, this week, we are on week 16 of our Number Talk video series, and we are focused on the multiplication strategy, breaking factors into smaller factors. Remember, factors are two numbers multiplied together that give you a product. So like the factors of 8 would be 1 times 8, 2 times 4, okay? And so the idea of breaking them into smaller factors is just that. So let's take the number 8 times 9. If you know 8 times 9 is 72, that's beautiful. Let's say you didn't. So you do know that 2 times 4 is 8. So maybe you kept your 9. Because you know 9 times 4 is 36. So 2 times 36 gives you an answer of 72. Now, let's say you didn't, you didn't know that exact sequence, so maybe you break down the whole thing. So maybe you're going to say that 2 times 2 times 2, so 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and then 3 times 3, which is 9. So now that's the smallest factors we can break down to. So now we're left with 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. 36 times 2 is, again, 72. So it's really about you using the numbers that work best for you. Let's look at 12 times 15. You know, you may, you may know the answer of 12 times 15. You may say, wait a second, I don't know what 12 times 15 is, but I do know that... 2 times 6 is 12, and I know 3 times 5 is 15. Well, let's think of associative property. The order of the numbers doesn't matter, right? So couldn't I multiply 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 3 is 18. What's 18 tens? 180. Maybe you say, I wouldn't even go that far, Mr. Harrison. I would leave the 12 intact, and I would actually just break down the 3 times 5. Because I know 5 twelves is 60, 60 times 3 is 180. Maybe we don't know 5 twelves is 60, so well, I need to break 12 down a little bit further, but I, don't have to, I, mean, I, I like to break 12 down as 3 times 4. So let's see. So 3 times 4 is 12. We know 3 times 5 is 15. So 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 5 is 20. So I know 9 twos is 18. So 9 twenties is 180. Um, now let's look at 6 times 18. Again, you may be able to look at 6 times 18 and know, well, I'm going to do partial product. 6 tens is 60. 6 times 8 is 48. I have 108. Or maybe you just say, well, I'm going to break, I'm going to leave the 6 alone, but I'm going to break down the 18 into 9 times 2. Because I know 9 6 is 54, and 54 times 2 gives me my 108. Or, again, we could say that, well, I'm going to. I know that 2 times 3 is 6, and I know that 2 times 3 times 3 is 18, because 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18. I did it this way because I wanted to actually, I feel more comfortable actually continuing to double the number. From first and triple, so I'm going to say 3 times 3 is 9. And then 9 times 3 I know to be 27. And then I still have to do 27 times 2 times 2. So 27 times 2 is 54. 54 times 2 would again be my 108. So, you know, the neat thing about breaking factors and smaller factors is, is really the sequence is up to you. Just remember it has to come from that original value. So, you know, I couldn't say, well, 8 times 9, and then I break 8 up into, oh, 6 plus 2. Well, no, it's not based on addition. 
it's based on multiplication. It's the factors. It's what two numbers multiply together, what three numbers multiply together, what four numbers multiply together to make that original value. So if you're confused, um, please see one of your third grade teachers or come see me, but this is definitely a strategy that can be quite effective for a lot of you when you start working with larger numbers. Enjoy.